Thanks to you, we're safe now. Luckily, damage was held to a minimum. Feel free to keep whatever you may have liberated from the thieves. You need it more than I do, I'm sure. Uh, Master Kristoff, I have a favor to ask of you. Please, give me the invoice for the Crimson Tear. What's going on, Lenny? Why would you speak of such a thing? You mean you don't know? The Crimson Tear is, uh, well... Yeah, I'm no good with this stuff. Vitaly, help me out! It's a forbidden relic. The physical essence of a dead soul. In other words, a soul's attachment to this world. Nobody is supposed to possess them. Touching one is enough to label you a heretic and exile you forever. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Most people shudder if they even hear its name. Do you understand what it means to be stuck here, locked out of heaven forever? Well, I was guarding a shipment that left here with a crimson tear. A shipment that ended up in... Raid. Lemon, that's top secret. If you cannot follow protocol, how can I trust you with such sensitive information? And the rest of you, forget everything you just heard. Understand? But Master Kristoff, maybe these guys are sort of strange and don't look real trustworthy, but they're still good people. Please, this might be just what we need to turn things around. Well, what can I say? You've obviously made up your mind already. What sort of spell did you cast on him? I could use something like that. Hell, I don't know. He's friggin' nuts, forcing his way into one shitstorm after another. It's like he has a radar to track down tornadoes of crap to jump into. <laughs> oh, gig, you have such a unique sense of humor. It seems I have no choice then. Vitaly. Yes? Go get the papers from file 42 on the black shelf. Cuthbert was in charge of that one, I think. Good. You, you're actually going to give them the invoice? What choice do I have? We've cast our locks already. We'll just have to see it through. I hope you can understand my decision. Of course. Wow! Thanks! I'm hoping this is the last time you ever ask such an illegal favor. Okay, your turn. Tell me what the plan is. I'm about to lose a very valuable customer over this. I'd at least like to know what I'm paying for. So, essentially, you want the kingdom to stop guarding the world either. Well, it has been calm for some time now. Perhaps there wouldn't be much danger in leaving it alone for now. And let me fill you in on something. The Crimson Tear is what's keeping me bound to the kid here. It's all that old hag's fault. But what the hell? I'm having fun here! <laughs> hey, now that you mention it, I remember seeing it too. It had such a sad glow. I wondered why Lady Lena would have something like that. But I I'm sure she had a good reason for keeping it. I understand that the jewel is ideal for sealing other souls. <laughs> and think about it. We've got one of the most potent souls ever created right around the corner. Ah, I see now where this is headed. The monstrous shadow looming over us does represent untold power as well as vast evil. And to remain afloat in this hectic world, a country like ours does need access to a certain amount of power. In all likelihood, who but a king would have the resources to acquire such a thing? No doubt his land's taxes have been funneled into its purchase. Even so, the jewel was of only average purity. The cost of a perfect jewel would be astronomical. <laughs> a third-rate piece of junk like that is bound to lead to failure. But I wouldn't really mind if it freaked out and started wrecking shit. <laughs> you haven't formulated your plan yet, have you? I'll give you some time to sit down and get everything going. Is that so? Well, I suppose that's the only path open to us now. But how will we get in contact with the Knights? Um, we were sort of hoping... Ah, 
You're asking me for yet another favor? Why must you be so brutal? Do you know what kind of position this puts me in? Hmm. Still, it's a good plan. I'd like to see how it plays out. Very well. I'll relay the message for you. But that's it. You're cut off. I'll do no more of your dirty work. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Hey, kid. Why do you bother jumping through all these hoops? Just give me control. Let me do my thing. And voila, we win. I knew you'd say that. Fine, do it the hard way. Hmm? Nobody here. There's nothing here. It's just... empty. Where'd everyone go? The rest is up to you, Endorf. That's it? Oh wait, there's also a map to get to the Nerid's place. Looks like it's not far past the raid shoreline. Jeez, that Waldorf guy is so irresponsible! Battle.
begin. See, of course, the Grand Cordon is a very dangerous adversary. Hmm. Bring Pen to me. Here he is, Queen Alexemia. Miss Alex, I'm here! Hey, I remember you guys! Yeah. Remember you too. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I love Juno and Minerva and Nora and the Salads and all the Nerids. Please don't hurt them. Oh, that's good. I knew you weren't bad. Hey, did you hear them? They're gonna be nice to us. You're a good boy, Ben. fell off a cliff because of one. Pen! What were you doing there a cliff? How many times have we told you? Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> you always were a little overprotective, Juno. Anyway, Pen, would you like to meet your father? My queen! Would you really allow him? Calm down, Juno. I know you've cared for him like he was your own. You love him, as we all do. I would never ask you to just let him go. I'd like to see him. Pen! You really have a dad, huh? I wonder what he's like. Oh, I have a favor to ask you. Might we borrow that sick man for a while? Uh, me? Just hold on. I mean, I'm just... It's not like it. <laughs> I don't blame you men for being nervous around us. Then how about the girl? Don't worry. We just need someone with a little spring in their step. Do you mind? What, you don't think I can do it? Of course I'd be happy to help. Just don't try anything funny, got it? You have nothing to worry about. So... According to the plan, they should arrive at the shoreline in about a week, yes? Now we wait and see if the Knights will accept the invitation. Thank you. 
He lives! Congratulations, it's a healthy baby boy. Oh, there, there, my son, you little scamp. You're going to grow up so big and strong. Hyrule, thank you for delivering me such a beautiful child. Listen, my son, you are my heir. Once I'm gone, you'll follow in my footsteps and guide this world. So you must grow fast. I might not have much time left. Oh, that's right, you want the world, don't you? <laughs> Irie, I think he understands what I'm saying. He bears your dignified face. Have you thought of a name? Hmm. Let's see. Ah, I have the perfect choice. This child's name is... Hey, what was that about? Was that from when you were born? You got a point.